what's going on everybody it's Flying Dutchman here and the start of the video sorry for last week not posting a video um, or well I sort of did um, as you can see the Civic is on the on the side on a jack stand because um, the salty weather has been blowing holes in my ship and I mean I've been poking at it a little bit but these fenders were re-welded in less than a uh, little bit over a year ago previous owners did it welded it back in painted the car and was like we're gonna sell it well you know if this is how you finish things and it looks like that then and it rusts like this that's terrible and I have as some people might know uh, we have like a yearly inspection here in Holland uh, like a MOT in England, we call it APK. But um, we have that yearly, and this time they were like, well, the fenders is a, basically a non-structural point, so if you wanna have that fucked, that's all on you, but like that and like jack points there on the front, those are structural points of the, of the car, and the car is unibodied, so especially then it's sort of uh, uh, needs to be addressed, at least for the, what they're saying. So, Fenders, uh, fenders, we're gonna get to that. For now, I've been taking the front fender off because I have new fenders because the old ones were fucked. Uh, if you know the long-term plan of this car is like basically we have different doors because if you look at the car, maybe it shows on camera like this. There's all sorts of bullshit in the paint and it's not smooth. So if I'm gonna wrap this, all this stuff is just gonna, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but all that stuff is gonna show up in the wrap. So. Instead of me sending down these doors that you hit with the high pressure washer and the paint just comes off and are rusty at the bottom, I have two new doors there at the back. Uh, I have new fenders, or new-ish, rust free at least. So new fenders, new doors, then I only have to sand the rear, work out that nasty dent, uh, redo the fenders and the car will be sort of body-wise pristine. Uh, for the inspection everything else was good so I, I replaced all the right parts basically there's no play no bullshit no nothing everything works just have to install like a horn button um, double check some brake lines you know scuff them up but uh, for now I was working on the front of the car and there's two two three spots like this corner was really bad so I took one plate out uh, basically, I can sand this down, make it all clean. Then I have some epoxy r rust converter stuff that's gonna be sprayed on. Leave that to dry. Um, same as so this hole, still needs to come out. And then make a little patch plate in it. And then basically connect this go back up here in this line. So it's not as terrible as I thought it would be. Um, maybe it looks worse on camera now. But. Um, this is doable because this looks a little bit grotty, but it's still like strong material and and good. So I can just scuff this up like uh, with a flappy desk on the angle grinder and make it all nice and clean. Uh, cut this one out, put some new stuff in there. Only problem is is that that this is a connection point, so it's like multiple layers. So there's the floorboard and then the the front plates come here, so it's all double triple connected. Um, and then here, of course, is a jacking point. Now, how they did that is just the structural uh, side here, uh, the metal comes down. I hope you can see any of this though. Um, comes down and then it's just folded over and it has a bigger piece of metal on here that basically spreads any load that you put on here over the whole thing. It's, it's very simple and there's a piece behind here, of course. Um, but this should be very doable. It's only this side. Then it's a, this same spot basically on the other side that needs the same kind of attention. And then it's the rear there that is bad and the rear here that is bad. But the best thing is this for me is perfect practice because the fender, uh, everything covers this up. Then there's a side skirt that goes here and covers this up. You're not gonna see any of it, so it doesn't have to be the previous, it just needs to function. And if I prep it well and I put a little bit more extra attention in the steps in between, we should be all good. Because 
No, the fenders is the only thing inside, but at that point I have been welding a little bit and um, hopefully that works. Like I said, I have some undercoating for the car, but that's the last stage. We have some epoxy uh, rust converter, but for now I'm just gonna take an angle grinder with a flappy disc. I'm gonna take a wire wheel that's already there and just start scuffing up the bottom side get all the rust off make it as clean as possible spray the rust converter on and then that's basically my job for today been working on it i took the door off so that way if i'm gonna weld it's easier to you know check inside outside nice little hole there i already made it like a little panel that ugh, let me lay down here it's gonna be covering this up oh like that and then that should be good only thing is it's pretty difficult to weld if you have no gas uh, I thought my my bottle was empty last time or like getting empty and now I knew it for sure so drop that in the car hopefully I still have time to go to the place that sells the gas because tomorrow I'm gonna weld a diff for a buddy so I need gas so that's what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna leave this project for where it is tomorrow I'll probably just chuck a wheel on and then just roll it out um, other than that I would say uh, we pick up with the next clip when I have gas again so here we are next day new bottle of gas well, this is the next day. It's three days later, work. Um, but I tacked the first plate in, now it's not looking too pretty, but uh, because I was going through at a few places because the, the material is very thin. So if you put a lot of heat into it, um, it wants to melt or burn through. So I'm just doing bit by bit, make sure it's all tidy. And then I can do the other two plates. So, nothing much to it then so I've taken out everything that's nasty made a new little plate that should sort of fit right in here look at that little gap there but my line wasn't really straight but nothing you can fill with a little bit of weld honestly that's the whole gap it's nothing um so I can basically tack this one in and then do the last one, this opening. And when that is done, this will be, the, this one will be almost fully covered up. Uh, should be good to go. So, last plate is made, a little bit of angles in it and it just fits very nicely just up in there. Now it connects both on that little plate here. So it has some structure to it. It's not just one big piece of sheet metal that goes over it. Um, this is gonna be painted before I fully weld everything on. But uh, this is basically sort of an end result. So here we are, day two. Thomas is here to help me because an extra set of hands and an extra set of eyes and an half set of extra brains so we make one in total um half well, wow that's a compliment man yeah i just kill I you up had like like 10 percent left or something if we both function at 50 percent today we have 100 percent of result so you're, um and you're assuming i can go for 50 percent yeah at least i can reach that yes um there's a new panel that's going in we're just mocking it up where roughly we need to, uh, where the new panel is coming. At least how big the new panel is so we and know it, what yes. we can use. Because it, this car had a it shine light in here. Took the tail light out, but then if you see the wheel well there, it's just all Fuck. rusty and shitty. So we probably have to make a strip to make a new wheel weld and then put the new panel in. The front is sort of, Done-ish, just need to sim seal it up. Well, it's aren't the best and I need to do the middle here. You know what to say? What yeah. They, you know what they say? If you need to grind your weld, 
It's not good enough? I don't care. <laughs> it's solid and it's back in there. I'm not saying it's not good enough, it's just, you know, it's safe. You, have, that's, you that, have to drive your well. That's why also that is a good spot for me to practice because it's underneath yeah. the car, you're not gonna see it, it's not that important and it's a good piece for me to practice on. That's why I wanted you for this I part because, you. you know, we need to weld in that and send it down and then paint and wrap or paint at least some base primer yeah, on it. Yeah. So that needs to be a lot more smooth and good instead of that. That's just only function. So that was, there's another side for me to practice on as well. So <laughs> well, at least you have a practice car. Yes. <laughs> I had a few practice cars. Well, essentially oh. this is the practice car, so when I do it to this car, everything is going to be all fine. Because this has the same crust issues there and just more spots. But that will be in another video, I've already started working on it as you see, but um, let's take out the angle grinder and send it. And now, indeed, there is a lot of crust, so this is not a hard job to take off wait, 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 wait. at this point. Fucking duct tape, man. Check this shit. They just put fucking duct tape over here and then painted it or something. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> Cardboard or something, a piece of metal with duct tape? It is a piece of metal, but they just... Hey, just, free metal! Free metal! <laughs> <laughs> they duct taped it on! Fucking hell, man! Grichi Bakker, you keep amazing me! That's it. There we go! One crusty! Look, they did the fenders already, and there where it was <laughs> fucked up! It's all that they replaced. Oh, yeah. They didn't even do the rear. This is a new piece of metal. Yeah, yeah, I know. They didn't even do the rear, which was no. like this. How do you do the front and not the rear? If it yeah, looks like... Man. Jesus. Let's assess the damage. Oh, I just missed this one. Yeah, that's what I... That's why I put the grinder in. Because that's a good thing. I wanted to miss that shit. But then this. What the hell? What is this? Is a, this is all just bondo filler? Yeah, man. Uh, look, the, look, look, look. It's just fucking filler shit. Well, that's what we smelled then. Oh, wow. This is so bad. Wait, 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 wait. This is. This is gonna be a bigger job than we thought. <laughs> yeah, not just a little. Well, I have enough material. Well, look, but no, no, look. It's. Oh, that. It, it, like there's pieces of rust, there's like holes of rust, and then they just put the bundle over top. Because this is metal, but it's all already rusted around. It's what the hell are they guys thinking? I mean <laughs> whack this. This is all bundo. Bondo and duct tape. Wow. Uh, so this whole piece is bondo and duct tape. Get, uh, get the this, this, this whole. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I believe that's all bondo duct tape. That whole corner. Yeah. Oh God. Cardboard? Cardboard. Well, it's nice. never gonna rust with cardboard in it. Oh wait, this, no, this is still metal. Really? It's two layers? It, yeah, this is 
this is the original like the, the inner wheel well and this comes from inside and then your panel comes on, on here <sighs> people who fill they, their they, they, they just took out most of the rusty shit people that and then do this the rest mm. People that do that shit, this shit is just... They shouldn't be allowed to drive cars anymore. Look at this. this and then in, in this gap here, now. there was cardboard. Wait, wait, did they if you put cardboard in, in open spaces in your car, it's gonna absorb moisture, water, and that's gonna rust and there is, there is be even a bigger here. problem. So, I don't know why people do this. I mean, this is just honest rust, which is shitty, but you know. Well, at, le at least... It's it's not a pain in the ass to remove it. You put the grind to it, it's gone. No, but I mean, this, this, this is like, fuck, man. It's extra work, and it made exactly. it worse. Exactly. But they used to do the thing in like the the, the I think the, the 80s, 90s especially. They did the thing with uh, chicken wire poly polyester. No, I had a polyester I had filler something. They put it all on cars and oh man, that's a shit to, to take off, man. That, oh, that's a shitty. I had a, a old book of the, 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 the what is it, uh, AAA? Basic what? AAA? Yeah. We call it uh, IMA Bay, yes. Yeah. Uh, which is like the road surface, and that was like a look handy, it, look a look handy book for, for homemade repairs. Look at and this. then it's just if. Just one big rubber. <laughs> <laughs> the shape of it. Yeah, Jesus. <laughs> but then in the in the side, for instance, you had a hole. And then how they instruct to oh, fix yeah. it is put to, to put oh, newspaper in it, and then put chicken wire uh, over it, and then you can oh, yeah, yeah, bundle yeah. and send it because then yeah, it has yeah. some something yeah. to push onto. Yeah, that's even worse. Yeah. But I still kept the book because I thought it was so funny that that is what they recommend and stuff. So, <laughs> so we had the wheel arch that is basically curved like this, but also like this. And metal doesn't want to do that. So we came up by the idea because we don't have an English wheel or whatever it is they call it. Or uh, uh, the right tools. Or the right tools. Like a right hammer. So we made the hammer. Made a hammer that is round, and we have a little yeah hole by now here in the sand, and uh, we start bashing this piece of metal to make an inner wheel weld. And as you can see, it's not quite there yet, but it's taking two forms, two shapes, uh, and also you're never gonna see it, so it doesn't have to look the prettiest. It just needs to fit and do the job. Yep. So uh, I guess we keep bashing. Here we are so far. Here's the panel that we made. Uh, looks a little bit rough around the edges, but this is a little bit longer than it should. So we're gonna take off like uh, two, three centimeters maybe. Um, this just basically pushed into place. You're gonna tack it on and then keep working your way around till it all fits. It doesn't have to be beautiful. You just have to seal it up. Like on the inside, there's nothing to see here. Where's your light? Can I borrow the light for a bit? There's almost no light in it anymore, but um, I cleaned it up, so basically overlapping. As I was working, uh, here when Kevin, my buddy's Kenya, swung by. Uh, Kevin is placing his struts. <laughs> uh, we replaced one already, pretty easy, just Top one bolt, bottom one bolt, and just uh, you pull it out, put it back in. Huh? What? But uh, I did some welding. The whole wheel arch is somewhat in. Needs to be adjusted a little bit here at the red line, but that will come for a later date. Uh, I'm happy this is in. Then I dropped the sheet. And then also on the inside here. I uh, welded in the plates that Thomas has made. Um, they're somewhat in, they need to be uh, welded more, but uh, I'll leave it for now. Uh, because it's time to go to a birthday. So I'm basically gonna leave 
So I'm basically gonna leave the work here. Um, last thing here to do, basically, is to fill up this corner somewhat here to the inner wheel arch. And when that is done, we can finally place the outside sheet on and then that will be all done. But a lot of work. But I'm happy with the progress that I made. Um, it all seems to sit really well. It's just so sturdy, there's so much tension on it because it was still not 100% the shape. So you weld it somewhere, start bashing, put the jack under it with a piece of wood, just pushing it up so it meet the other sides, other sheet of metal so I can weld it to. Uh, here it even broke some little shitty welds loose because there was so much tension on it. So after I'd forgotten the GoPro yesterday, um, we made some progress. The whole inner wheel well there is in. And the outside skin we're placing it on. Because the corner has been done. It's not all the best, but hey, it functions and it's, uh, it's shut, it's sealed. Or well, we're gonna seal it up, but like it's, it's been boxed in. I think that's the correct word. So now we started on this. Uh, it was very easy to blow through this because the sheet metal is so thin. That's why Hondas are reason reasonably fast because they just they weigh nothing. Engine wise, yeah. I I would say they're very good, but then the body is just made of shit. <laughs> it's, uh, no, well, actually, we saw what it was made of: duct tape and cardboard. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was early in the video. For us, that's like three days ago because on and off we can work on it and half a day and whatever but uh, it starts to get the shape of a car again so now all we have to do is just fully weld it up every so inch and then uh, grind it as flat as possible some bondo make it all smooth a little bit of uh, so yeah it's gonna Turned out great. I had like worst expectations of it, so so far so good. So this is our fourth day, yeah, somewhat. So. Front is all done. Just need to seal it up, but I want to open the can when the backside is done as well, so I can just go continue on smearing and not let the brush. You know, dry up and need to take a new brush out. Yeah, but just take one brush, whole side. Yes. Um, welds, mm -hmm. not the best material, not the best. <laughs> uh, we made it work, and that's also being that's that's really being really really nice about the material. Yeah, well, we made it work, and this a lot now just a whole skim layer of bondo to uh, to cover a lot up. Um, also need to grind. The welds down and you know it's gonna be a process but that's like part two uh, the rust is gone materials back in now we need to make it look good so we can prep it for uh, with that but then <laughs> prep it prep it for uh, for wrap and vinyl which is very easy to spot those lines so um, I've never ugh, I've never done anything like this with a car so um, we shall see the inside I think it's done. There's a whole layer in there. It's all sealed up. So, yeah, we're now tacking the inside of the wheel weld. So that's all connected and not breaking loose. So we can start smearing it in and then the car can somewhat go back on its wheels and it's just a lot of prep work. Is that, is that the English word? Smearing. Smearing it on? Smearing. Yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. So it, 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 it's, it's you can smear it, it on. Sounds yeah, really, you, you can really smear something, something you on. Translate directly from Dutch to English. Yeah, we say smear as well. Yeah. Smear. Smear. Now I was already jumping in the video, like jumping from bit to bit. Uh, but then it turned out that this video, the end of this, this, and also another video, I had to like sort of redo because the mic of the GoPro stopped working. Now, I got a new mic, so I hope you like the quality. But, without spoiling too much of the environment, because that's for next video coming up, uh, we finished up putting the panel in somewhat. 
uh, some welds you know are better than others but other than that uh, a little bit of bondo make it all smooth and um, time for wrap at least this side is done the other side still needs to be done that will be in another video so unfortunately i wasn't able to finish the little steps in between uh, which was basically welding everything up sanding and a lot of goofiness so sorry that the end of the video the progress is a little bit short but at least for next video as you can see things have changed a little bit so that will be a surprise for the next one and also part two of the civic uh coming with you know when the car is fully done with welding and we're ready to do bondo and you know send it down make it pretty again because for now it does not look pretty but anyway like i said thanks for watching subscribe if you want to see more and hopefully i'll see you guys next week peace